Hello YouTube, this is my review of the Intex Pool Swim Center Family Pool for ages 6 and up. However, we will be using it for a 4 year old and I don't think that will be a problem. So I already set the pool up and we're filling it. It's taking a while to fill it up, so that means it holds a lot of water. I'll try to see if I can get some specs on how much water it holds. We're just going to go around. It has three different air chambers in it and you fill on this side right here okay all right so you have one on top one on the middle and one on the bottom uh, I took my basically works air over here to blow it up with an attachment tube like this and using that on all three chambers it took me I would say about five minutes to fill up all three air chambers and then uh, we're just filling it up right now and as you can see it has a max line which is pretty pretty high it's not that bad I mean it is what it is but again this pulls for a four-year-old this year and uh, yeah it's been filling for about I want to say half an hour and it's about one-eighth full and uh, I know we don't have the best water pressure here but it's still not stingy so this is going to take a while to fill so overall it's built pretty well you could sit on it on the edge it does cave in a little bit but uh it's designed that way and uh definitely will keep the water in comes with some accessories in the box one of them is actually kind of funny but we'll explore that next so inside the box you obviously had the pool uh it came all folded up in a nice way and also inside the box are your directions honestly this thing is not that hard to put together hardest thing is rolling it out and blowing it up with air but uh just tells you max what to do uh doesn't have a water sprayer on it and uh it basically says you know just be careful with small kids and make sure you supervise them prevent drowning and they want to take that to an extra step here let me show you what else was in the box and this is it there's a patch by the way see that little yellow square that would be a patch in case it gets a hole but this thing was very interesting in the box this is a water watcher tag and what you can do is you can cut it out put a rope on it and whoever's supposed to be basically the de facto lifeguard will wear this and it says oh and if you have to go somewhere you have to give it to someone else before you leave I guess that's so people don't forget to uh, supervise children and other people in the pool but I thought that was a cool feature however maybe not needed if people are very good uh, I don't plan on wearing it because I do supervise my child but it's there and it's just another feature of this pool the dimensions of the pool are 120 inches by 72 inches by 22 inches height okay so you're talking about 10 feet by 6 feet by about almost 2 feet in height Another feature of this pool is that it has the drain plug, an easy access drain plug in the corner here. Let's see if I get it from the right angle. It's just a little clip thing, and honestly, unlike other pools, it's not that hard to push in, and it keeps the water in. So we're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes when uh, it's ready to uh, have people in it. You liking your new pool? Yep. What do you like so much about it? Like it. I love to swim in the water and I love to pee in the water. Yeah? Is it yeah. cold? Yeah. No, I love it. I love it cold. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. And I, I'm getting, I love to swim. This, yeah? This new pool, I got it from other day. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, when I got my sprinklers, I, I wanted my sprinklers, but now I'm in a boat pool. Do you think it was worth the money? Do you think everyone should buy one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Say bye. Bye. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.